Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting out in front of the baby chick pen, and um, they're the first chickens that I let out in the morning. Well, two of them didn't come out, so I looked in the hutch, and one was dead, one of the brown ones. Um, I think it was a hen, and one of the leghorns, the only leghorn that I was sure was a hen, she was lethargic and just laying there. So um, I left her be. I removed the deceased one. And it looked like it had been pecked pretty bad and kind of flat. So I think, I don't know what happened if the temperature dropped too low for them. And they just started fighting and jockeying for the warmest spot. I'm not sure. But, um, so I went and did the rest of the chicken chores. Took Papa for a walk, came back, and the leghorn was gone. So I'm down to ch six baby chicks. Um, I think both of the leghorns <laughs> that are left, I think they're both roosters. There's a slight possibility that one of them is a hen, but uh, whatever. So I don't know what happened. I did go ahead and line the inside of that little box with um, cardboard just now. So hopefully that'll help them a little bit more overnight. I can't bring them back inside the tiny house. There's just not enough space. They've gotten too big. Um, yeah, so next year I won't be hatching out chicks this late. If I'm going to hatch out chicks, it's going to be early in the season when it's freaking hot because they'll, they'll do just fine. Anyhow, I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm going to go do something and hopefully get that, uh, rooster pen completed and maybe saw up some wood. <sighs> I got to finish my coffee first. Would you look at that? FedEx just arrived and dropped off this package. I wasn't expecting anything. I have no idea what it is, and boy, they came early today. So you know what time it is? <laughs> Gotta open it up. Let's see what it is. It's heavy. It's heavy. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Another thing, a scratch. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. I, I don't know who this is from. I know that Sarah sent me the other scratch, so I have absolutely no idea. I'm going to have to ask Sarah and see if she sent this. Oh my gosh. I got all the wood cut for this last wall here. All I need to do is screw it in. And then I found some hinges. I think these will work. I'm not positive, but I won't be able to find out until my drill charges up. I got the door hung and it works pretty good. Here, let me get out of the sun. It does go up and down just fine. Oh, I don't even know if I'm filming this right. See that? I'm going to have to do something on the inside to get it to not swing back because it's hitting the ground right now, but it swings pretty freely. So... I can figure that out, but that's awesome. Now I just need to figure out a thing to lock it so that a critter can't get in and lift it up because raccoons are pretty smart. They could figure it out. The final wall is done and now it's just time to put it up. I think it's going to look pretty good once I get it all together, but oh my gosh, that's going to be super hard. Yeah, this is what this looks like. I already show you the back of that. Nobody's going to be looking at that. It looks horrible. This is this wall. This wall had to be up and down like this. Oh, I forgot. I've got to fill in some stuff with that. Oh, I was. I thought I was done screwing in screws. That's all right. And then this one. Oh, my gosh. I think I'm just going to take a break and decide whether or not I can do any more of this today because that took a long time. Had to cut every single one of those. Um, I had to trim them off a little bit. There's a couple more that need to be trimmed. Um, I do have those two bolted in. Yeah, the bungee's just there because it's um, holding it back to a stake. I may remove the bungee. I don't know if I really need it once I get all the other walls up and connected, but it's keeping it up for right now. I've just put this wall up here for right now and I've noticed I've got a problem. Um, really, if I had done this differently, that would have been shoved in more and this would have been over 
and um, covering those little holes. But I didn't do it that way. I put the puzzle together differently. So now after I connect these, I'm gonna have to do something to fill in those spaces. That's not a big deal. I can do that after I get it all connected. And it's the exact same thing on this side too. Not a big deal. I'll be able to cover it up. I'm just kind of trying to get these up here to see what they look like. All right, now I'm frustrated. Okay, yeah, the white rope is just there holding pieces together. It's not there um, permanently. It's, it's my second pair of hands. There's a hole there. And look at, I put this back together for whatever, uh, whatever reason, the door doesn't fit. So uh, what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is that I need to turn this one over. I went ahead and did it. I turned this up and this is how it's supposed to be. Um, the problem that I'm having, because this door does not fit now, it's off by a fraction of an inch. And that's because this, this needs to go. Oh, Mr. Lucas is shooting again. Um, this needs to go in front of this. This needs to be pushed back more. And then, see, there's just a, a little bit of space there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, this pallet needs to go back further, just about an inch or so. I got it to fit, and I didn't even have to unbolt that thing. All I did is cut off a few of these things, and... Um, it needs to be squeezed together a little bit better. See down at the bottom. So, but it, I got it to fit. So that, that's great. Just by cutting off a few pieces on the side. And yeah, I'll have to do some fill-in work. Um, still thinking about chicken wire. But this is it. So tomorrow I'm going to be able to bolt this all together and finish the open areas. Hopefully put on the roof. And... Have me a nice rooster coop. Oh my goodness. I think it looks all right. Back in the tiny house, just taking a breather, having something cold to drink, getting ready to make some dinner here in a minute. My bones and my body is aching. But I got some stuff done on that uh, coop, and it was good. I needed to take my mind off of things. <laughs> Uh, so tomorrow, hopefully, I will get it finished and start on the chicken run, the yard part. Anyhow, um, I asked Sarah. She's one that sent the, the second bag of scratch, and I haven't heard back all day. So if it was you, Sarah, thank you. If it wasn't you, thank you to whoever sent it. My chickens just love, love, love that scratch, and I really needed it, too. So thank you, whoever sent it. Um, anyhow. I'm tired. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.